What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a very special video. I actually went out to storage to see if I could potentially find my original Pokemon binder from when I was younger. Um, I actually had all my cards in two of these little orange old school binders. Um, there's nothing in it now because I did take them out and I went ahead and upgraded them to this newer more protective binder so I did end up finding them. Bear with me with the video. I'm going to try to get this as steady as I can. We can't get the video in frame with all the cards if it's on the peg. This is going to be a vintage Pokemon binder. Um, this is mine from when I was younger. Um, if you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. This is going to be the first time that this binder is on video. Um, this is the first time that I combined the two smaller books into one big book so this is just how it was in order in those under other binders so there's no specific like order to it this is just how I had it in the other binders whenever I put it into this one so without further ado we'll get into the video and we'll start out pretty slow um, we may speed up when we get to some of the like non holographics or some of the less desirable cards but this is going to be a vintage Pokemon binder right here so getting into it as you can see the first page we've got Legends, Base Set, Charizards, we've got Blastoise, we've got Venusaurs, we also have some first edition Machamps. Gonna try to go, there There are a lot of cards in here, so I don't want to go too fast. I want to give you guys time to see all the cards, but at the same time there are a bunch and I don't want the video to go for too long. But we have some more first edition Machamps, we've got Poliwrath, Alakazam, Nidoking, Pidgeot, Dragonite, Victory Bell, Haunter, and I think for the most part they do go in order for like holographics and then they go down into some non hollows So we'll try to keep everything in order as far as we go. We've got the Vileplume, Wigglytuff, Gyarados, multiple Clefairies, multiple Hitmonchans. Going into some Raichus, we've got some Ninetales, some Magneton, some Mistrevious. We've got a Lapras, we've got some Mr. Mimes, Muck, Snorlax, Chansey, three Evolutions, the Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon. We have a Kangaskhan, Venomoth, that is a different language Seedra, different language Dragonite, pretty rough Ditto. These were used, I did use them as a when I was a kid, so they have been played with, so they're not all perfect. But we've got Zapdoses, Moltres, we do have the Articuno and the Electrodes. Also have some Holographic Energies, First Edition Moltres and Articuno. Oh, we got the Legends uh, Mewtwo right there. These are going to get into the, some of the non-holographics, and they might be repeats, so I will try to go a little faster um, with that. But as you can see, we've got multiple Moltresses, Articunos, Electrodes, Clefables, Scythers, and some Pincers. And these will go up until uh, some of the, not the newest generation, but some of the older new generations. Um, we've got some Dragonairs, Beedrills, Dragonites, Flareon, Jinx, Ditto, Venomoth, some Kabutops, multiple Aerodactyls. Multiple Nitto Queens, multiple Raichus, multiple Doug Trios, Victory Bale, Jolteons, Electabuzz. We've got some more Pidgeotos, some more non holographic Snorlaxes. We've got Haunter, Hypnose, Hypmonlee, Lapras, Gengar, Pidgeot. And these are all nostalgic cards. I mean, they're, they're all old school. This is cool. They're, you know, some of them are 20 years old, so they've lasted quite well. For the condition they're in. I don't know what was in this spot here. Um, I might have just missed one. We've got some Hollow, Blaine, and Erica trainer cards. And then we got a non holographic Misty, Lieutenant Serge, Giovanni, Sabrina, Koga. Here comes T Rocket, one of my favorite trainer cards from that set. Also, Rocket Sneak Attack is a really good card. As you can see, these are all vintage. Very, very cool cards. I'll try to keep both of them in frame for these non-holographics. That way you can kind of just pause the video if you need to and look them over. Do have some different language cards. I don't remember how I got them. But they're there. 
we do have some promo cards on this right side here. We've got two Ancient Muse, a Ludicolo, the Latios, and Latios. I think these actually came from um, a movie back in the day. This Meowth with the gold trim, it actually came from a cereal box. So it was a brand of cereal that sold it that had that card in there. We've got the two Mew promos, the Pokemon Forever movie uh, promo Suicune. We've got some more. We've got the Pikachu, the Mewtwo, and the Dragonite um, from Pokemon the first movie. Entei promos, Meryl, Pikachus, and Scizor. I forgot which ones these were from, but we do have these promos. The Holographic Muse, Slowking, Vileplume, Meryl, Togepi, Lediba, Lapras, and then we do have War Turtle, Tentacruel, Executor, Butterfree, Onyx, and Primate, and that was just all the ones I had, so that's why there's a blank missing. These were some of the cool reverse hollows that came from the uh, uh, Legendary Pack, the Legendary Series. I didn't keep all of my cards as a kid, obviously, so there's just some. So we've got a Dark Dragonite, we've got a Nitto Queen, an Electrode, Dugong, Pidgey, Ponyta, Slowpoke, Spiro, and a Machop. Going into some of the Dark and Light Pokemon from back in the day, we do have a Holographic Dark Charizard, a Holographic Dark Gengar, Light Togetek. We have a first edition, different language, Dark Alakazam, as well as a regular Dark Alakazam, but that one right there is first edition. We've got some Dark for Alligators, Dark Typhlosion, Dark Tyranitar. We've got Dark Machamp, Dark Scizor, Dark Goldbat, another Dark Charizard non-holographic, Dark uh, Dragonite non-hollow, Dark Vileplume, Dark Arbox. We've got some Dark Ariadoses, some Dark Weezing, Dark Ursaring, Dark Slowbros. We do have some... Dark Hypnose, a Light Pile of Swine, Different Language First Edition Non Holographic Magneton, Dark Magneton, and then a regular Dark Magneton, the Dark Gyarados, First Edition Dark Machamp, and another Language and a Dark Duck Trio. Going into some of the Gym Trainer packs, we've got a Holographic Sabrina's Gengar, Rocket Scythor, Rocket's Hitmonchan, Giovanni's Nitto King, Giovanni's Persian, Rocket's Zapdos. Misty's Cedra, Misty's Tentacruel, and then a Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz. We have a different language, Rocket's Hitmonchan, and then a different language, uh, Lieutenant Surge's Magneton to finish off the holographics. And then we've got the Nitto Queen non hollow. Sorry about the glare. Erica's Clefairy non hollow, Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz, Sabrina's Venomoth. We do have. Rocket Snorlax non hollow, Brock Zubat, Koga's Arbok, Brock's Doug Trio, Brock's Golem, and then we do have some Brina's Gold Duck, Misty's Polyrath, Misty's Goldeen, Brock's Sandslash, Koga's Muck, Erector's Victory Bell, Giovanni's Pinsir, Misty's Cold Cloister, and then a different language, Brock's Doug Trio. Going into some of the Neo sets, I believe. We do have a Holographic Typhlosion, Reverse Hollow Venusaur, Reverse Hollow Rapidash, Reverse Hollow Pidgeot, Reverse Hollow Vileplume, Reverse Hollow Skarmory. We do have a Magneton Holographic, a Charizard Non Holographic, and a Tyranitar. And as you can see from the side of the cards, these were back with the e reader cards that you could use. So these are fairly old cards. I mean, they're not brand new. Some of them have been played, some of them haven't, but they are, for the most part, they're all in, you know, good shape. We've got the Magby, the Pidgeot, the Meganium, Arbok, and Energy, Magikarp, I'm trying to go up the waterfall. You can see the meters there on the right, right here, show you how far up they're going. You've got some little Polyrills up there cheering them on, and a Krabby. Now, they're not all in the same order or anything. They were all kind of just randomly together. So we do have cards like from different seasons and series that are just by each other. So we actually have a holographic shiny Celebi. Very sought after card. Um, we do have some uh, Charizard level X's and a Heatran level X. I think these were promo cards back in the day. Yeah, you can see promo on the bottom right. We do have a holographic Helm Doom, holographic Kabutops, holographic Hitmontop. 
holographic Ampharos, a slacking, and a Ludicolo. We've got a Energy Restore, Smeargle, Ho-Oh, Sneasel, Sneasel, Muckro, Raikou, Kingdra, and a Starmie. Getting into some of the Delta Species uh, series, we have a Holographic Venusaur, Holographic Giratina, Larvitar. These are really cool, the ones that actually say, like this one's from Delta Species here. You can see the name in the bottom right of the card hollow. These two right here are actually from Crystal Guardians. We have a Grovile and a Combustion. Then we have a Reverse Magnazone, Reverse Mr. Mime, Cyndaquil, and a Barboach. We do have that very nice energy from the Legend Maker. We have a Holographic Dragonite, Shellgon, Salamence, Garchomp, Altaria. We have a Gastrodon, Electivire, and a Rapidash. Holographic Machop, Ampharos, Rayquaza. We've got the Minon and the Plusle Hollows, Wobbuffet, Noctowl, Jump Pluff, and a Blissey. These four right here were actually from back in the day from a McDonald's series. You could get um, these cards at McDonald's. So we got the Muna, the Ocelot, and the Blitzel. And there were 12 total. I only have a couple of them because I didn't, I guess, go there a lot as a kid and eat. But we got a couple of those. These are going to be some more of the non-holographic, so we're not going to go super slow with those. You guys can, you know, freeze the video if you want to see some of those more up close and personal. And I didn't want to go too slow because I know looking at all these cards, it's a lot. You can pause the video if you need to to check out some of them. Or if you see one you really like, just check it out. But as you can see, there are a bunch of cards. There's another Dark Machamp, another Rapidash, just not non-hollow. And then to end it off, we do have these cool movie cards. These were from the original VHSs that you could get. And they would come with the movie. And they're just little holographic movie cards. And they just have some kind of depiction of some Pokemon doing random stuff. And on the back of it, you can actually see where it tells you Pokemon, gotta catch them all. And it tells you what video number they were from. So those are really cool. All in all, this was just like a brief breakdown of an original vintage Pokemon binder. And this is exactly how it was uh, whenever I found it in storage. So I just wanted to go through and show you guys. These are some really cool cards. Um... These are some of the originals, so I mean, it's got a lot of nostalgia to them. So hopefully you guys liked that binder video. If you did, please do like the video. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.